So what kind of brush do you need to use? Are you just starting out? Great, forget about these, forget about these. We can talk about those later, but they're so overwhelming when you're just starting out and you just want to learn how to use some paint or watercolors, whatever it is that you're, you're into. This is really all you need. Let me show you. This, this is for stenciling. It's flat on the bottom. You use it exactly like this. You dab on your paper with the paint over your stencil. You pull out the stencil and there it is. <clears throat> Very cheap, kind of rough. This is a utilitarian uh, brush. It is used, or I use it, for glue. Um, you could use it for stain too, but I use it for a Mod Podge because I don't want to wreck my other brushes, so I want to use a cheap brush for that. You can also use a foam brush. That's really good for glue as well. These brushes, this is a flat brush, and this is a round brush. That's all you really need to know. Flat brush is flat on the top, round brush is round on the brush, <laughs> on the top. <laughs> These are a couple different types. They are all synthetic. Brushes do come in basically two types, animal hair or synthetic, like polyester. I prefer, especially when you're just starting out, I prefer synthetic brushes. They're soft, they're easy to maintain, and they don't fall apart. Basically, you want to stay middle of the road. You don't want too cheap, but you definitely don't want the higher end expensive things to start with. And that's about it. So get painting.